Hey guys, it's Miss Adelini. Uh, today I am going to be talking to you about um, types of neurons and also how neurons are used in reflex loops. Now I apologize if you hear the dog Teddy chewing his bone in the background. He's the best. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So we're on page two of the notes packet. You have these images of different types of nerve cells or neurons, but you may not have the annotations yet. So if you would, as we go through, please draw in the extra annotations that I've included in my key here. Okay, so our first type of neuron or nerve cell is a sensory neuron, and that's going to take information from a sense receptor cell to the central nervous system, which is going to be the brain and spinal cord. So sensory receptor cells are going to give your brain and spinal cord information about all the senses, including touch, taste, sight, um, sound, smell, etc. So um, sensory neurons look like this. One characteristic of a sensory neuron is that they have very long dendrites. Now remember, the dendrites are used to receive signals, so it would make sense that a sensory neuron would have pretty long dendrites. It's got a short axon um, because typically a sense neuron isn't used to send information over a long distance. The second one would be a motor neuron, and that's going to send information from the central nervous system, from the brain and spinal cord, to the muscle cells. So you even have motor neurons that extend all the way from your spinal cord into one of your toes. So that would be multiple feet long. Okay, motor neurons are going to pick up signals just from the spinal cord. So they're going to have very short dendrites. They don't have to extend over a long area to sense things. Um, and they're going to have a really long axon so that they can transmit that signal from the spinal cord all the way out to your extremities. Okay. The third and final type of neurons are interneurons. Interneurons, um, inter meaning between, are located between the sense neurons and the motor neurons. So inner neurons are located in the brain and the spinal cord and they're used to integrate or organize information from your sensory neurons and then send needed signals to your motor neurons that tells your body how to respond. Interneurons are just communicating within the brain and spinal cord so they're small. They have real short dendrites and they have real short axons. Okay, so let's take a look at a reflex loop that contains um, interneurons, sense neurons, and motor neurons. You've been given an example here. This is, I'll make it a little bit bigger, the knee jerk reflex. Now, a typical reflex arc is going to include a sense neuron to receive signals. It's going to include an interneuron in the spinal cord, and it's going to include a motor neuron to trigger a muscle. Now, these loops are different from most nerve signaling loops because they do not include any messages to and from the brain. They just use the spinal cord, and for that reason, they're a lot quicker than a normal pathway. Okay, so the knee jerk reflex is the one that you'll see when you hit right below your kneecap or patella with a little mallet at the doctor's office and your knee will literally um, jerk and cause your leg to push forward. So here's what happens. You get hit by the mallet right below your knee and you have a sense nerve that's going to take that signal from the touch to your spinal cord. There you'll have an interneuron that will communicate with a motor nerve and cause your quadricep muscle, which is in your thigh, to contract, which moves your leg forward. Okay. So we have another illustration, actually a couple illustrations on the next page. These are 
called polysynaptic reflex arcs because we have multiple synapses or connections between neurons. There's one between the sensory neuron and the interneuron, and there's one between the interneuron and the spinal cord and the motor neuron. So you have one, two synapses. So here we're seeing the skin, which is the location of the stimulus, and you're seeing a sensory neuron receiving the information from touch and communicating that to an interneuron in the spinal cord. The interneuron will then send signals to the motor neuron, and the motor neuron is going to signal the muscle cells to contract and cause movement of the leg. So the muscle cells are our location of the response. This is another illustration of the same thing, but it shows the spinal cord in a little more detail. So here we have our sense neuron that is going to communicate at this synapse, this connection, with the interneuron in the spinal cord. Note that the sensory neuron enters the spinal cord at the dorsal root. Dorsal meaning the back of the body. Okay. Now, the interneuron is then going to communicate with the motor neuron, which will send signals to the muscle cells. But the interneuron is going to synapse or connect with the motor neuron in the ventral root, and the motor neuron will exit the ventral root. So the ventral root is going to be on the stomach side of your body. So that's the side of your spinal cord that's closest to your internal organs. Okay, that's it for types of neurons and reflex loops. Thank you very much.